Okay, hello. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple maze, just like the one I made here. Uh, since it is still in the spirit of Easter, um, Easter was last week. So I'll try and do this very quickly. Uh, if you go to File and go to New, a new document, and I'll print, uh, go to Print, and I'll do A4. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is create a shape. Uh, we're going to use the shape tool and the eraser tool. Very simple. So I'm going to do. Um, okay, I'll still I'll keep it the uh, egg theme, the Easter egg theme. So click on ellipse tool, and um, I'm going to make a circle. Okay, so shift and pull. Um, and let's make this a little smaller. And we want to bring this anchor point up. Well, let's make it into more of an oval, which is what eggs are. Uh, then click up here to your pen tool and then go to anchor point tool. And click on this top anchor point so it looks like more like a drop. And now click on the anchor point tool again. And I'm just going to pull out. I'm going to keep my finger on the shift. Um, so pull just a straight across like this. Now, let's make this a bit more narrow. Uh, okay, and I think it might help if we bring our middle part, our two anchor points here, uh, bring them down like this. There we go. So that was just clicking on these two anchor points in the middle. So drag across. As you see, they're now lit up. And uh, yeah, so I just pressed my down arrow with shift. And there we go. That's a nice looking egg. OK, I make this a little smaller and rounder because I want a lot of uh, space here to make my maze. Um, OK, and then the next thing we do is I'm going to change the color here. Let's change it to a pink. There we go. So we can see the inside. We can change the color to anything you want later. Um, so all you have to do is just get your eraser tool. Click on eraser up here. Make sure on the right layer. Yeah, let's call this egg E G G. OK, so let's go to our eraser tool, eraser tool, nothing special. Uh, to decide on how big you want your uh, your your path. So let's do 20. I'm going to do maybe 15 to make it more difficult. Um, so now we're going to start here. And while we do just draw your path, OK? And that's the outside. And that is my path, OK? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now what you want to do a solution. So make a new layer. OK, and lock your egg layer so we don't go over that. Now you can just use your arrow key. Sorry, your arrow tool, so pen, pen tool. And you can do a few ways of doing this. OK, let's go to change the color. Let's start here and you can just click around if you want, drag and pull, then click on it. Oh, we need that to be. Drag and pull, click on my anchor point, drag and pull, click on my anchor point. OK, so John, that is your answer. Oh, don't want that one. OK, so highlight that. Uh, let's change the stroke. Let's do three points so we can see it. I'm also going to change um, the look of the line. So if you go into your stroke over here, stroke two, and then go into your parents, which is like the sun, uh, the sun shape here, the sun icon. OK, then you'll see stroke. Click on your stroke. 
And here you will see an option to do a dashed line. Let's do a dashed line and we'll keep it at three. And I want to do a round cap so it's a bit softer. And um, let's, I think that's okay. And then we also want to change, maybe let's get a ticker, let's do five. Yeah. And then I want to change the top here to an arrow. So click on the arrow heads, click on the second box, and then click on the arrow you would like. So I'm going to do this one. Um, no, maybe not that one, maybe this one. Yep. Okay. It's better. Uh, so it just shows what way we are going. That's just an option. You don't have to do that now. So that is our, um, our basic, our basic, um, maze. And the next thing you want to do is make your falls paths. So let's, uh, lock our, uh, shape here, our, sorry, lock our, um, solution. And, um, and then go back to your egg, unlock your egg layer. And now we're just going to make more a uh, false path. So click on your eraser tool. Um, and then here we go. Let's just have fun with this. So let's go. Okay, you get the idea. Um, so that's all it is. Um, I'm going to hide my path. And that is your basic maze. Now you can do this with any shape. Um, but you're also going to need some um, some images. So let's just type in what it's going to be called rabbit or a big rabbit maze or Easter maze. This lady looks great. Okay, and that is your maze. Okay, now again, you can do this for any shape. For example, your square shape, go to square. Um, let's do it this way. Okay, click on your square and then just get your eraser tool. And let's start here. If you want to check, change the size, let's do 20. And now draw your path. Okay. And that's all you got to do now. If you want to do have straight lines, very simple. Again, just make your shape. Let's do a rectangle tool. Very simple. And just when you are uh, drawing your shape with the eraser, drawing your, your path, just hold down the shift. So uh, hold down shift and then click on your path and just drag down. And this will make it into a straight line, as you can see. OK, then click again, go across, click again, click again. So every time you click to draw the line, just make sure you hold down the shift key on a Windows computer. OK, and that's all you do. And then just keep adding more uh, more lines to this. Um, so these are some options I made. So here we have the straight line. Um, okay. With the mazes, different colors. Um, and this is our Easter maze. Uh, very simple, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And there we have our, um, our pathway. Now, just another option for your pathway. You don't have to uh, use the arrow key. You can just use the pen tool, not the pen tool. Sorry, you don't have to use the pen tool. You can just use your paintbrush. Okay, 
and just click on your color that you want. Let's go like this, let's go like this. And then you just need to draw where you are going. That's all, you just draw. Okay, it might be easier for some people who uh, aren't quite sure how to use the arrow, uh, the, sorry, the pen brush. Okay, anyway, that is my kind of quickie maze, if you're interested, and I hope it was of some use to somebody. Um, I usually get all my uh, my extras, my assets here on Creative Fabrica. So I got these uh, lovely cute rabbits on Creative Fabrica. There is loads and loads and loads of stuff here. Um, anyway, I'll leave the link in my uh, description. Well, I hope this had some help to some people. Um, and uh, let me know if you wanted me to do anything else.